Hi, I'm Greg Benson, President and Creative Director at Lal Designs. We're a Duluth, Minnesota based company. We have about 80 employees. We make outdoor furniture and we ship it all over the world. Uh, but it all starts here, so I'm going to give you a tour and you'll, you'll learn a little bit about how we do it. So we're going to start the tour here in our production office. So wel welcome to Law. Come in here, this is our production office. This is where all the orders start in here. We have 20,000 pieces of furniture to make right now. Once the orders are processed, then they head out into the shop and we'll see what's going on out there. So here's our, our plastic sheet, uh, which is made in America. We use recycled plastic made from milk jugs. And we have nine colors and three different thicknesses that we work with. We use one inch, we use five eighths inch, and we use half inch plastic. And, and it's all this raw four by eight sheet. This is one of our CNC machines. We have five machines like this. They're all twin head machines. This is our largest, so we, we can cut the most product on this. Our, our CNC machines are running 24 hours a day. Each head has 25 cutting tools and we use all those tools in the manufacture of our parts and our products. Everything that comes up the CNC is gonna go onto a cart. And as you can see, this is really well organized because the next guys in line, they wanna get this organized so they can process it more efficiently. Hi, my name is Ted Clare. I'm the CNC operations manager here at Law Designs. My job is the start of the production line here. We take the raw material, as you can see behind me, and we load it on the CNC machines and get it cut precisely and out through into the production site. Uh, we work as a team here, and it's a great place. Always different, always exciting. So this is pretty typical waste that we get up once we cut a sheet. We try to use 100% of the sheet, but we're not going to. So we're always going to get some little scraps like this but we do 100% recycle this as well. So we, we don't throw this away. And that goes down even, even to the shavings from the cutting. This is all recycled as well. And there's a protective film that goes on each of the sheets. Once we peel that off, we save that and recycle that too. All of our products use these little blocks and we use these jigs for when we're, we're hand routing these parts. So when you're on the hand router, your fingers don't get in towards that router bit. So this is a, this is a safety uh, thing that we've come up with. So this is a lot of the work in progress for today. A lot of these parts were cut last night and then they are organized to go to the inserting and sorting area that's next in line. We literally have thousands of these blocks around it. We, we call it a lock block or a puck. And, and this, this one simple part, it's part of our fastening system, one of the components, and this works in conjunction with a pocket and a stainless steel bolt and an aluminum insert. And, and this is really what holds LOL together, but it, it holds all our products together. It, it really actually is kind of fun to see how this system works, um, but it allows us to flat back pack product and also uh, replaceable parts. Uh, nothing's welded together or glued together. So these blocks hold it all together. Hi, my name is Jesse Cockburn. I am the production supervisor here in uh, insert, uh, quality control as well. Um, our role is to inspect the poly when it comes from CNC. We check for impurities, uh, scratches, dents, dings, stuff in the poly that doesn't need to be there to make a quality product. 
All of our inserts are inserted with a air wrench. Our benches or people at our benches can do it roughly anywhere from 40 chairs at about three, three and a half hours. So out of a total shift, get around 40 to 60 chairs, if not more. So we use a variety of hardware and it's all stainless steel. And the bolts, to, to keep them in place, once you, once you tighten everything down, they have a coating on there. And the coating is purposefully up a little ways so you can start the bolt into the insert really easy, but then you hit that coating and it really tightens it up and then the bolts don't loosen over, over time. Some of the larger, larger parts that we have, we, we move around on these carts. Um, this is a lot of tables and, and larger benches and sofas. Hello everybody, my name is Hunter Chartier and I'm the production manager with Lull Designs. Uh, this is my 10th year here. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the QC department. Uh, this is after insert and before assembly. So what's done in the QC department is that they are ensuring that the correct parts are here as well as counting the blocks and beyond that counting hardware, folding instructions and doing a little bit of light prep work such as drilling pilot holes and countersinking. When they're done with this, it'll, it'll move to a staging area be, before assembly where they will be able to pick that up and build and box right away without having to do much prep work to it. So most of our products, because they ship flat pack, there's hardware, there, we ship a tool and instructions. And we, we instead of using plastic, we've, we've found this made in USA cloth bag and the instructions are in there with, with a paper packaged hardware, and then of course a LOL tool for the assembly. Um, this is an Allen tool that, it's a screwdriver basically, that we make here out of our waste. And then we have our blocks, and then this is all, all you'd need with the actual parts of the chair to, to assemble it. This is one particular order. So this has all been quality checked, and everything that this order needs to go in a box is here. This looks like about four lollygagger chairs. Some of our products do ship assembled, and these are Niswa lounge chairs. And you can see those are fully built, and they'll go in a box with the cushions. So, so literally when the customer gets it, they just take it out of the box and they can sit in it. Uh, this, this particular chair here is the Lago chair. And you can see that this is mostly assembled as well, so the customer They'll receive this chair like this in the box. This is the only plastic. We use a little bit of shrink wrap to hold the parts together so they don't move around in the box. Where we've assembled the difficult part, and so this, this is about four or five parts that you'll have to just put together. And it's pretty easy for the customer to do. In, in fact, most of our customers say it's, it's enjoyable once they do the assembly. So this is a little bit of the assembly that we're doing and we'll, we'll on an Adirondack chair we, we put the arms together and the back and then when the customer receives it they really build that chair around the back. It, it's easier really for us to ship some of these products with some of the assembly done. It makes for a, a tighter package and the, the, the shipping there's much less damage when we do that. Most of the product we ship out of here goes in a box and this is pretty typical of, a, of an Adirondack chair box. And uh, everything's in there. It's a heavy duty box because our, our chairs are heavy. You know, an Adirondack chair weighs over 40 pounds. So it needs to be a pretty solid box so you don't have damage during shipping. Hello, my name is Tim Cockburn. Uh, I am a production supervisor here at Lull Designs. Uh, what we do in our department is after QC, the, uh, the assemblers will assemble some of the stuff and then flat pack the rest of it and then put it in a box. As we're packaging it, uh, things go into the box to make it easy for the customer to pull it out and assemble it. We package it the best we can so that in transit it does not get damaged. Here's uh, in this big box, there's, there's actually two wraps and rocking chairs in this one. And th this is another chair that we assemble quite a bit of it before it goes in the box. So it's a little bit of an unwieldy box, but it makes the assembly a lot easier for the customer. A good percentage of our products go out on pallets like this, and it's either gonna be a larger order for a project, 
or it's going to go out to one of our, our retailers. Hi there, my name is Luke Myro. I uh, help run the shipping and receiving departments here at LOL. Been here for about six years now. Uh, really, our job is to get the product to the customers safely, and so we determine whether we're going to ship that FedEx ground, UPS, Express, or if we're going to build large pallets of our furniture. Uh, we work closely with our partners, Design Within Reach and Room and Board, um, pretty much on a daily basis to get their freight out to them. And uh, I've got a great crew that I work with here. These are cushions. Uh, we, we inventory a lot of the cushions for the Niswa and our other soft seating collections, Platform One and Sunnyside. Um, this is somewhat new for Law uh, to have this soft seating. Uh, we really like it. This is one of my favorite chairs. This, this is a Law version of the Westport chair, and this this is the that's the whole package right there. Looks good just like that. You don't even have to put it together. Hi, my name is Nathan Zobel. I'm currently the process manager for Lowell Designs. Um, I work on continuous improvement events with a variety of people throughout all departments. Um, I like lean manufacturing and introducing or teaching people on the philosophies. I also enjoy reducing waste, whether it's physical waste or waste throughout the processes. And one of the things I'm passionate about is improving the work conditions for employees on the floor. One of the things I'm currently working on is implementing automation throughout our manufacturing process. There's a certain way that you pick up a lull chair and how you carry it. You usually go from the front, you grab the arms, and you flip it up. Ah, finally, it's been a long tour.